Good evening and welcome to the Bryan County Patriots Spotlight Game from Colbert, Oklahoma. It's the Coleman Wildcats and the Colbert Leopards. This is game two of the night as the Colbert Lady Leopards. You may have seen this earlier. It's also on the MidwestSports.net YouTube channel. Came away with a 47-46 victory over Coleman. This is the nightcap here. I'm Joey McWilliams joined by Joseph McWilliams, the silent partner here tonight. And we'll be bringing you this Bryan County Patriots Spotlight game here on the MidwestSports.net channel. Please do subscribe. This is the home of the Bryan County Patriots Spotlight game. As it is Coleman in the visiting maroon uniforms and Colbert in the home white. And that one just given away to Sampson. So the Coleman Wildcats will bring it down to get things started. Tip and steal. Winger. Looks like a little reverse, can't get that to fall. Put back is good, though, for Hunter Peebles. He has two. Our Bryan County Spotlight game is presented by Hausner's, by Sales and Trails Family History, by Heartbeat Realty, and by Gallipot Pharmacy. Gallipot Pharmacy, located at 213 East Main Street, Suite 100 in Calera. Another steal for the Wildcats, looking, or excuse me, for the Leopards, looking ahead 2-1-1, won't play out. And let's get those starters to you for Coleman. Coming in with a record of 5-7, and seven, coached by Dave Walters. Wearing number one is Cole Stanley. Number 11 is J.D. Harris. Number 23, Eason Sampson. Number 30, Creed Cowan. And number 34, Jayton Johnson. Stanley, a junior. Harris, a senior. Sampson, a junior. Cowan, a senior. Johnson, a sophomore for the 5-7 and seven Wildcats. Another steal. Another errant pass. Dribble around the back, doesn't work. Leaves an open man in the corner. Dusty Peebles for three. That one off the mark. And we have a tie ball under the basket. Possession arrow says Colbert will maintain that possession. And glad I got the starters out to you for the Wildcats because the lineup has changed quickly. Number four, a senior Oren Walters coming in. And a freshman, number 12, Cooper Walters checking in as well. Starters for the Leopards tonight. Wearing number one, a senior Dylan Winger. Wearing number two, a senior Dusty Peebles. Wearing number 12, a senior Randon Gibson. Gibson with the ball. Wearing number 20, a junior Hunter Peebles. And wearing a number 24, a senior Carlos Segura as the pass is down low to Segura. Off the glass, up and over Johnson. Carlos Segura with two. It is now a 4 nothing game as the Leopards are on top in this one. Another steal. That pass to the high post has not worked all night long. This time, Hunter Peebles is able to control it as he goes up for the layup. And he has four. And you have to wonder. I mean, obviously the play right now is to try to get this into Oren Walters or whoever happens to be in the high post. It hasn't worked yet. So Coach Walters is going to talk this over with his team. And while he does, let me say that Josiah Schomer and his team at Gallipot Pharmacy really will take care of you. That's a nice place for you folks in Colbert who are uh, looking to maybe you don't want to travel all the way to Durant. Well, you know what? You now have a nice independent pharmacist in Calera, 215 East Main Street against Suite 100, just east of 6975 there on Main, right across the tracks. And there is Gallipot Pharmacy. And by the way, if you're a new patient, Tell them Joey sent you. Okay, let Josiah know Joey sent you. If you're a new patient, you will receive a free medication lockbox for filling your prescriptions at Gallipot. So check that out today. Gallipot Pharmacy sponsoring our first quarter. Three-pointer off the glass. No good. The rebound, though. And we'll have a foul off the board as Walter's trying to make something happen. And he will inbound. First foul is charged to Randon Gibson. First foul of the evening. 6 nothing, and the Wildcats need to get on the board. Will they do it here? High pass is inside to Sampson. Sampson, wow, able to go up and over the defenders there. Looks like he might be falling away a little bit. Doesn't matter. He gets the points. Easton Sampson with the first basket of the night for Coleman. Colbert under coach Tony Robinson. 11-1 and one on the year, looking to match the number on the back of Randon Gibson's jersey. Looking for that 12th victory on the season. Sampson comes away with the board, skying for that one. And the Wildcats again will try to cut in. Little Euro step looking move for Oren Walters, but the shot is not successful.
Wildcats with a man-to-man -man defense. Look right now is Peebles, the senior. And the pass goes inside to Hunter Peebles, his brother a junior, and Hunter Peebles with six points. Now, the look to Peebles posting down low has worked out. Walters, the strong bounce pass. Now looking to pass it inside. Hunter Peebles with a steal again. Three on two. Can't control it. Travels. Lots of white jerseys there, but the Leopards not able to convert. And Coleman with the substitution. Quick three left wing, too strong for Cole Stanley. Winger dribbles around, allowing the play now to develop. And he'll start to move himself just inside the right elbow. Wait, uh, 14 footer is good. Dylan Winger with his first basket tonight. And it's now 10 2. There's the pass into the high post, and that's what Coleman's been wanting. Turnaround jumper for Walters won't fly. Long pass, too long for Dylan Winger to bring in. A little bit too strong, maybe too much momentum for Gibson heading down the court. And Gibson will take a seat now as Lot Lawson Guyman, excuse me, a junior, checks in. Guyman wearing number four. Well, you have to give a lot of credit to this Leopard defense as clearly Wildcats are trying to get the looks inside. And Sampson actually has been on the weak side posting. Now he's posting up the high post. Walters tries another floater. That one won't work. Stops and can't make it pop. And here come the Leopards again. Guyman now will control the play. Leopard's getting good looks off some screens. There's one right there. Guyman won't take it to the basket. The high pass to no one in particular. And Stanley will just step in and corral that one. Team trailing by eight. Won't find Walters at the cutter. Instead, he'll try the three and train it left wing for Cole Stanley. Ten five. Guyman with some ball moving and trying to See what happens down inside. There's the pass. The look is into Segura. Turnaround jumper is good. And Segura has been able to get open in the low post a couple of times, and it's resulted in baskets both times. Another quick three. This one, not the same result for Stanley. That one tipped and taken by the Wildcats. Sampson. He's going to get ahead of Winger, I believe. Slows up and allows Winger to come through for the foul. That's going to send Eason Sampson to the line. Good body control that time. Thought he might have just wanted to push ahead and really drive on past Winger. Instead, he'll allow Winger to foul him. He'll go to the line to shoot two. No dribble on the free throw attempt. J.D. Harris checking back in now. And Sampson gets the second. 12-6, Leopards doubling up the Wildcats here. Last game of the semester for Colbert. Again, wanting to end it on a high note. Segura up high, thinks about the three, looks inside Hunter Peoples, won't draw the foul, won't make the basket either. Sampson moves away. Leopards coming in on a seven-game winning streak, won the first four to open the season, fell 40-34 to to Calera, and then rattled off seven straight since then. Pass in and out of the hands of Jayton Johnson, so it'll be Carver's ball. Won the Bennington tournament 
Victories over Silos, JB, Fort Towson, and then Hayworth in the championship. Big win over Hayworth, 59-38. And then follow that up with wins at Tishomingo and at Ashley. That brings us to tonight. Second half of the schedule. Not quite as long, at least on paper. And of course, the Bryan County Tournament coming up pretty soon, too. Hunter Peoples will go to the line to shoot, too. Foul on Sampson. And that's his first. Peoples makes them both. He has eight. Foul on the court now. This Colbert's lead is back up to eight, matching its largest lead of the night. And the Wildcats will inbound. Baseline right. By the way, if you want to see your team of the Bryan County Patriot in spotlight game and you haven't seen that team just yet. Well, we haven't been able to get to all the county teams just yet, but we will. But drop me a note, Joey at BryanCountyPatriot.com. Peebles, rebound, put back, no good. Another rebound, put back, no good. And the Leopards get another offensive board. It's going to stay on the Colbert end. Peebles and Segura both posting. Now Segura setting the screen. Hunter Peebles alone. Top of the key. And Segura knocks it out. Quick pass inside. Nobody there. And Sampson, the recipient of a pass, probably wasn't intended to him, but he took it anyway. Yeah, let me know. Joey at BryanCountyPatriot.com. And the fallaway jumper long to for J.D. Harris. Fourteen nine the score. Clock ticking down here in the first quarter. Leopards need to make a move. Peebles is there. One dribble. Loses control. Tipped away. Someone needs to get a shot off. Won't do it. Sampson gets a hand up. And the Wildcats. Solid job on defense in the final seconds of the first quarter. And it stays at a five-point advantage for the Leopards. Three points apiece for Stanley Harris and Sampson. And Hunter Peebles leading the way with eight points. Bryan County Patriot spotlight game. Take a break back in a moment. Second quarter about to get underway here in Colbert as the Leopards own a five-point advantage. And Joey McWilliams joined by silent partner tonight on the camera, Joseph McWilliams, doing a fantastic job. Wildcats on defense, and the possession arrow awarded them with the ball to inbound after a solid stand to end the first quarter. Again, Hunter Peebles with a game-high eight points for Colbert. The Leopards with 11 wins on the year, 11-1. Sampson going up, 
and over three white jerseys. Eason Sampson with five now. And the junior really someone that the Wildcats have been looking for. Haven't worked it all night long. Sampson avoids the foul once, twice. Will he avoid it a third time? Gets the block there. Wow. It's going to stay with Colbert. Nice job by Sampson to just keep his distance. Hunter Peoples couldn't make the basket, and so he'll get a chance right here. Won't uh, take that shot. Dusty Peoples dribbling in. Right elbow. Rattles home. Dusty Peoples with his first basket. Wildcats think about it at the top of the key instead. This will go around the arc. Sampson looking to post up. Going to stay with the Wildcats off the foot of one of the Leopards there. Tonight's Bryan County Patriots Spotlight Game is presented by Hausner's, by Sales and Trails Family History, by Gallipot Pharmacy, and by Heartbeat Realty. Second quarter is presented by Heartbeat Realty. And we'll have a timeout on the court. Give me an opportunity to talk about Heartbeat Realty now as it's still a five-point lead for the Leopards. Angie Sullivan, agent at Heartbeat Realty. She owns the business, and that is a business that was recently awarded the prestigious award from the Texoma Board of Realtors, the Office of the Year. So a lot going on there to the positive for Heartbeat Realty. And, of course, the name Heartbeat Realty comes from well, you might remember this, Beats for Blair, Beats for Baby Blair, and she's growing up, by the way, and doing well. Praise God for that as she continues to grow, but that name Heartbeat Realty is Angie Sullivan leading the way. It's been in business now for two years, and you can find her located in Durant. Give her a call, 775-4925. Again, the Office of the Year of 2019. And check it out. We have that story on the Bryan County Patriot at bryancountypatriot.com. See the picture of her and the agents there in the business with that nice award. Leopards come out of the break with the ball. Coach Robinson needed to talk a few things over with his team. And there's a screen, an opportunity. Pump fake kicks it out right corner. Dusty Peebles from long range this time. He has five points and... That accounts for the five points for the Leopards here in the second quarter. Hunter Peoples now with a steal. And I wish that I had been keeping the steals a little more accurately because Hunter Peoples probably has at least five, if not six already. Long rebound will stay with Colbert as Randon Gibson tracks that down. He'll set the play. Drives in, up and around a defender, and that one off the glass, and good. Randon Gibson with his first two points tonight as he finds a way around J.D. Harris. Man-to-man -man defense. Pretty successful so far now for the Leopards. And Coach Walters calls the timeout. Not seeing the ball movement, I don't think he wants from his team. And close plays like that, you could get a defensive five second call. Dusty Peebles with his five points all coming here in the second quarter. Randon Gibson with his first basket tonight. That also happening here in the second quarter. The Wildcats needing a good look. That's been pretty good defense so far for the Leopards. Culver victories this year over Victory Life. Actually, Calera, split with Calera, by the way, the one loss coming to the Bulldogs. Tushka, Rock Creek, Milburn, Fort Towson, Hayworth, Tishomingo, and Ashley. Throw in Silos JV in there in a tournament as well. Long range three, that one no good. 
Now you draw something up coming out of the timeout. It was an open look. Just didn't fall for the Wildcats. They're coming off a screen. Running jumper for Dylan Winger. He has two more. Leopards expanding the lead here at home. Creed Cowan thought about that long three. It was open. That's the pass they want, getting it into Sampson. Sampson can't get that to fall. And he has double teams and triple teams that come his way. Hunter Peebles, spin cycle, down low, turnaround jumper, count it. Hunter Peebles with 10 points tonight. High pass, too high. Oh, wow. Cowan did a good job to keep that on his end. There's the pass into the post. One dribble, and Sampson may have to make a move or, or not, and the foul behind the arc will result in three free throws attempted by Cole Stanley. Foul charge to Dusty Peebles. Just his first. First free throw attempt, no good for Stanley. You have to think for the Wildcats, this is where you need to make up some ground, getting some points when the clock is stopped. Second one will fall. Third one as well. He gets two out of three. You have to say that's a successful trip down the court. Peebles thinks about Segura. Now pump fake drives in. Left hand off the glass. Hunter Peebles, the junior with two more. Coleman comes in, two-game losing streak tonight, and shot no good there. Last win was the third-place game in the Quad County Conference Tournament. Defeated Wapanucka 52-45, and has fallen to Tupelo and Eagletown since then. Dusty Peebles, that one blocked. Hunter Peebles gets it back. He'll get an and one opportunity. Cleans up the garbage after the block, and he's rewarded for it. Foul charged to Cooper Walters. Walters, a freshman wearing number 12 for Colgate. And the end one, and works. 15 points now for Hunter Peebles. The lead is 17 for the Leopards. It's Colbert's wanting to pull away before the break. Cutter down low, up and over. Shot no good. Sampson there with the board. Harris trying to get fancy, trying to make something happen. The quick three-pointer, high bounce, and rolls in. It's good to be fortunate sometimes, and J.D. Harris fortunate then. 30-16 now. Segura put back. No good. Another offensive board. Two more points this time for Carlos Segura. Yeah. 
Sampson posting up, and credit to J.D. Harris for driving in, forcing the defense to come out, and Leopards get a hand up and knock that one away. Hunter Peebles with another seal, steal. Tell me if you've heard this one before. Stops, gets around a defender, reverse layup, count it. Hunter Peebles. And you know, he stepped up, and there he is again, stepping into the passing lane, three on two, dishes it off this time. Dusty will corral it. And now the look, top of the key. Segura posting down low. He'll get out of the lane. Talking about Hunter Peoples on defense, playing in the middle of that zone and just really stepping in the passing lane time after time. Segura from Peoples. The connection works again. Peoples with another assist. Carlos Segura with two more points. And the Leopards are up by 20. Time ticking away here in the first half. Wildcats, I'm not sure they know. I think now Harris knows. Long three, no good. And we'll go to the break. It is a 20-point advantage for Colbert here at home. The final game of the first semester, 2019-2020. And Colbert trying to pick up win number 12 on the year. Led by Hunter Peebles tonight with 17 points in the first half. We'll take a break. Back in a moment with the Bryan County Patriots spotlight game.
back here in Colbert. It is the Bryan County Patriot Spotlight game here on the MidwestSports.net channel. Please do subscribe. We would appreciate that greatly. The goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers. That's the first goal. So <laughs> please do subscribe. And this, again, is the home of the Bryan County Patriot Spotlight game. 36-16 to 16 is the score right now as Colbert owns a 20-point advantage. 22-7 to seven in the second quarter. It's Hunter Peoples leading the way with 17 points for the Leopards. Eight points for Carlos Segura. Dusty Peoples has five. Dylan Winger with four. Randon Gibson with two. And for Coleman, the Wildcats are led by J.D. Harris with six points. Five for Cole Stanley and Eason Sampson. Colbert three for three from the free throw line. And Coleman three for five. Winger trying to get this one started with a bang here in the second half. Doesn't fall for him. Colbert sends out the starters in Winger, Peebles, Gibson, Peebles, and Segura. And the Wildcats will do the same. Stanley, Harris, Sampson, Cowan, and Johnson. No one in any real foul trouble here in this one. Our Bryan County Patriots spotlight game presented by Heartbeat Realty, Sales and Trails Family History, Hausner's, and by Gallopot Pharmacy, sponsor of our third quarter here tonight. Steal by Colbert. Numbers, four on one. Winger keeps it himself, won't fall. Rebound, Hunter Peebles, and the putback goes. A little contortion that time by Winger and can't make the basket, but Peebles is there with another rebound and another two points. Turnaround jumper. Nice look for Johnson. Can't get it to fall. Segura with the board. Ahead. Dusty Peebles for three, count it. Dusty Peebles with the quick look, the quick basket. He has eight, and Colbert now on top, 41-16. Peebles with the near steal this time. Jaden Johnson goes to the basket, has to adjust his shot midair, can't get it to fall. The... Uh, Long pass down the court, no good. Peebles comes away with it, dishes off to Winger. Unselfish play, give Peebles another assist, and he is filling up a stat line tonight. Dylan Winger with another basket. Don't forget Gallipot Pharmacy, our third quarter sponsor here. Check out Gallipot Pharmacy at 213 East Main Street, Suite 100 in Calera. Josiah Schomer is there. The Farm D, Dr. Schomer. Tell him Joey sent you to because if you're a new patient and you get your prescriptions filled at Gallipot, you're going to receive a free medication lockbox. But tell him you're a new patient. Tell him you heard it right here on the Spotlight Patriot Game. That's Gallipot Pharmacy. It's been all Colbert for quite a while. Tipped away, nearly stolen. We have a backcourt violation. And that'll work well. Jeremiah Schatzman, number 14 for Coleman, will check in. And Harris's inbound really was to no one in particular. And Hunter Peeble steps in, but Johnson takes it back away that time. Throws it away to Winger. Four on one, bounce pass, Dusty Peebles. Doesn't fall, Hunter Peebles, rebound, put back. Again, tell me if you've heard this one before. Hunter Peebles now with 21 points. And rebounds, and assists, and steals. Now we don't have those tracked tonight. Need another member of our crew to do that, I think. Schatzman dribbles it off his leg, and Colbert will get it back. Dusty Peoples checks out as Lawson Guyman Jr. comes back in. Well, for Colbert, again, we said final game of the semester, a couple of games to open the new year. Won't be long until we're looking at a pretty interesting matchup 
coming up between the Leopards and Caddo. And that will be here at Colbert. That's on January 17th. That one should be a good one. First free throw good for Randon Gibson. Hunter Peebles, rebound, splits two defenders and puts that one back up and in. Hunter Peebles now with another board and two more points. He has defensive rebounds and a slew of offensive rebounds as well. Segura knocks that one away into the hands of Gibson. Kicks outside. Finds Segura going through the lane. No good, but follows it with his own shot. Nice rebound. Another offensive board. Segura now in double figures. His fifth basket of the night. All coming from within about three feet from the glass. High percentage shots as we have a turnover. And Harris just... Couldn't get rid of it quickly enough. Angel Perez, a senior wearing number 30, checking in now for Colbert. And we have some subs coming in for the Wildcats as well. New looks, new faces now. Cole Stanley is checking back in, along with freshman Cole Con Collins wearing number 13. And... Creed Cowan, the senior starter, checking back in. High pass, Sampson can't control it. Doesn't give it away quickly to Segura, but he'll knock it out of bounds. Check this out to see where it's supposed to be. Officials, not sure, maybe looking at some numbers of players and seeing who has what number on. And did that player have the right number, at least the way it was written down in the book? It may have been so. I think it's sorted out. I don't think there's any issue here. Bounce pass. Quick off the glass, the shot by Guyman is good. And on the inbound, two more points for the Leopards, who are now up by 36. Now, 36 was the point total the Leopards had at the break. They have outscored Coleman 16-0 here in the third quarter. By the way, for Lawson Guyman, that's his first two points of the night. Colbert has 16 points in the third quarter. Coleman, Colbert does. Coleman has 16 points in the game. And that one thrown away. At this point, time affording to tick off, but an open look for Randon Gibson, and he had to take that to the basket. Things open up on the left side. It's now an 18-0 run in the third quarter alone. Substitutions now. Stotsman will check back in, as well as Cooper Walters for Coleman. Well, Colbert well on its way to its 12th win of the season. And again, looking for a, a big matchup. Colbert and Caddo right here on January 17th. That one should be big. Kanan Jordan, a freshman, has checked in for Colbert, wearing number 23. And Segura tries to find the look down low to Perez. Perez won't get it. Coach Robinson likely will want to get some of these younger players a little opportunity and you just want to play 
fundamental basketball at this point with a lead like this. Three-pointer by Cole Stanley is in his second tray of the night. He has eight points. And at the 2.22 mark, Coleman scores here in the second half. It's been good defense all night, and this has been from the outset. That pass from Gibson way too high for Segura. We'll have substitute coming back in. Jaden Johnson will check back in for Coleman. It really has been the defense tonight for the Leopards, and it's really started with Hunter Peoples and what he did in the middle of that zone, stepping in, not allowing the passes to come inside to whomever. You think Easton Sampson is the direction that Coleman might have been looking through the night, but even so, Peoples just stepped in and stole pass after pass and made shot after shot, dished the ball well, got offensive boards, really player of this game, and we're not even through the third quarter. Open look, three for Guyman, count it, Lawson Guyman. The junior with five points now, all here in the third quarter. It's a 38-point advantage. Guyman now with the pump fake, drives in, left elbow shot, no good. Nice look, the opportunity was there. Minute remains here in this third quarter, our sponsor Gallipot Pharmacy here in the third. High pass inside, Johnson can't contain it. And Gibson will lead the way. He'll slow down long enough to let his team come through and he may pull this out and let the time tick away here. It's an expanded offensive set now as the clock ticks away here in the third quarter. And the Wildcats complicit in this clock ticking away maneuver. And now driving to the basket, kicks outside. Guyman looks back for Segura. That may be his first miss tonight. May have missed one other. He's been shooting from point blank, though. Wildcats, five seconds left. Cole Stanley, long three, long board. The putback by Walters, no good. And the third quarter comes to an end. 38 now, the advantage as Colbert has tripled Coleman's score after three quarters. Eight minutes left to play on this Bryan County Patriots spotlight game. It's really been all Leopards all the time here from Colbert in the Leopards High School Gymnasium. State championship banners adorn the wall on the east side. Four for the girls, one for the boys. There's a strong history of solid basketball played here tonight. And the Leopards' performance here in the boys' game has done nothing to change that thought. Good defense, good offense. And the Leopards have three times the Wildcats score here. Fourth quarter underway. Hunter Peebles with 23 points tonight. And Carlos Segura with 10. A 
and this may be an opportunity where with some of the starters still out there, sprinkling among other players. Segura, the turnaround jumper, good. Nice look inside for Carlos Segura. The senior with 12. Pass inside to Johnson, off the glass and in. Good look from the top of the key inside to Jayton Johnson. That's his first basket tonight. You know, the longer the, again, starters sprinkle in among subs coming in, the more opportunity to run some time off the clock. Segura can't control it, so he'll pass it back out. Kanan Jordan with the ball now. Play designed to look for the open man. Someone needs to be wide open, and Jordan was. Rebound, tip. Kanan gets it back, and the shot no good. Sampson's come back into the game for the Wildcats here in the fourth quarter. Johnson down low, spins, turnaround jumper, won't fall. One of the best looks of the night for the Wildcats, and that's really been indicative of the way that the ball has bounced for Coleman tonight. Running jumper no good. Tipped and last touch by Gibson. Checking in for the Leopards is number 10. He's a freshman, Armando Garcia, as Lawson Guyman's night is likely done. More movement on the bench now for the Leopards. See at least one more white jersey coming in at the next break in action. That ball tipped, taken away. Garcia will control. Bounce pass as Gibson drives the baseline and kicks back outside. Kane and Jordan for three, no good. The putback won't fall either, and Sampson pulls down the board. Jordan with a near steal. Secura tries to come up and complete the deal. Wildcats keep it in the corner. Shotsman for three. Jeremiah Shotsman. Garcia controls again now as Segura will set the screen. And again, a play designed to look for an opening, someone wide open to get the green light. The bounce pass down low, have to take that one. Shot's no good by Perez. And he'll nearly get it back, and well, with a little help from Gibson, he does get it back, so it stays on the Leopards' end. Screens give an opening for Garcia. A little strong. Freshman Dennis Miller waiting his turn to check in. In the second half with a quick pace tonight, and rightfully so. Long range three. Comes up short for Stanley. Here comes Dennis Miller, freshman, or Dennis Mitchell, excuse me, freshman. Wearing number 35. Yes, I did watch Saturday Night Live in the late 80s and early 90s. Dennis Mitchell is who is checked into the game. And Mitchell giving off to Jordan. Opening closed up quickly there with the Wildcats' defense. And they try to find Mitchell posting, can't do it, so Johnson will bring it up. Cohen Wildcats will then move to 5-8 and eight on the year. Secura with a block. He'll take it. Look ahead. Garcia trying to find the opening. 
Can't do it. Wisely pulls it back. And Coach Robinson tells his freshman, slow it down. Make the move if it's open. There it is. Right wing three. Count it. Armando Garcia for three. Sampson, just one step and inside. Didn't even have to take the dribble. Eason Sampson, he has just seven tonight as Coach Robinson takes a timeout and wants to talk with his players about the defense or lack thereof on Sampson in that last play and also gives him a chance to send some new players in tonight. Freshman Adam Pickney wearing number 21 for the Leopards checking in as well as junior wearing number 40, Jacob Olson. That opening closed up for Garcia there. Two-minute warning now here. Solid win this is going to wind up being for Colbert tonight as Garcia will get the steal. He'll leave it behind. Jordan off the glass, and good, nice move as Walters was there, the only player down on defense, and Garcia with a great decision to leave behind. Fell down low. Kenyon Jordan, by the way, his first basket of the night. And the eighth Colbert Leopard to record a score. Tough games, though, ahead in the second semester. I mentioned Caddy, Caddo. How about Caney coming up? Class B Caney, and that one will be at Caney on January 28th. That will follow the Bryan County Tournament. So the Bryan County Tournament for the Leopards is bookended by games at home against Caddo and then on the road at Caney. Trip to Boswell as February begins at home for Soper and then at Bennington as the regular season will wind down. Long range three. That one will come up a little bit short for Garcia. Schatzman tries to split two defenders and loses his footing, and Sampson can't keep it. Three on two now. Jordan, long pass to the corner. Garcia sets. And the putback. It's going to go in for Mitchell. Dennis Mitchell with two. Nice job to set up for that rebound. Less than a minute remaining here. Quick three put up by Cole Collins, and that one won't fall. I want to say thanks to our sponsors tonight, to Gallipot Pharmacy, sponsor here in the fourth quarter, which has gone by so quickly, as well as Heartbeat Realty, the left elbow. Good for Armando Garcia. He has five. Hausner's, as well as Sales and Trails family history. Joseph McWilliams on camera tonight, doing a great job as always. I appreciate his work. And the final seconds will tick down. Will Schatzman try one more shot? He will not. Collins, no good. The rebound by Olsen, and this one is now officially in the books. The Wildcats fall to 5-8. and eight. The Leopards move to 12-1, and one, and each team goes to the semester break. Leading scorer tonight is Hunter Peoples with a game-high 23. He was in for three quarters, a little less than that. A fantastic effort for Peebles tonight. Carlos Segura with 12 points, 8 for Dusty Peebles, 6 for Dylan Winger, 5 for Armando Garcia and Lawson Guyman, and 4 for uh, and for Randon Gibson as well. Uh, two points apiece for Kanan Jordan and Dennis Mitchell. For the Coleman Wildcats, it was Cole Stanley with 8 tonight, 7 for Easton Sampson. J.D. Harris had 6, 3 for Jeremiah Schatzman, and Jaden Johnson had 2. Thanks again for watching this Bryan County Patriots Spotlight game on the home of the Bryan County Patriots Spotlight game, MidwestSports.net. Thanks again for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel. We would appreciate that, and we will have more for you coming up, more high school basketball after the semester break. Be looking for us in January. In the meantime, for Joseph McWilliams, I am Joey McWilliams. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Colbert 
with the win tonight.